This is the headphone cable that came with my iPhone 5 and I snipped off the left channel uh, right at this junction right here, just snipped it off with a pair of scissors, didn't do anything with the end and the other side has the microphone and right at the top of the microphone I snipped off that side. Now the microphone is shiny so you need to take some sandpaper to just scuff it up and remove that shiny finish after that the sharpie, uh, a black sharpie a permanent marker will stick to it and you can darken it down. This won't be perfect but it will be hopefully less noticeable if this becomes exposed. I super glued it to a, uh, this is actually an alligator clip that came with some electrical thing that I had and you can, you can also use a uh, tie clip for this as well, like a shirt tie clip. Uh, someone else here on YouTube has a video showing of use of that. Uh, I spray painted it black and then I super glued the microphone to the clip. Now on the iPhone 5 uh, headphone cable here, it's got a bunch of buttons here, the volume up, volume down, and then the center button. I glued mine, I don't know if it matters, but I glued mine so that the buttons are on the clip. And now once this is ready to use, you can clip it to the inside of your shirt. And I clipped mine to the inside of the collar so that the microphone was facing up. I figured if I clipped it to the collar with the microphone facing down, I would get a lot of feedback from my shirt. Um, we'll see. So this is what I did. I'm going to put this on and give you guys a little example of here in my shop where the audio is horrible and we'll see the difference. All right, so this is my shop. It's a large area with a lot of hard surfaces so you get a lot of echo. As you can tell, it sounds like crap. Um, also, I'm like seven feet from the camera as well, so I kind of got to raise my voice a little bit, which doesn't sound well and also furthers the echo sound. So let's switch over to the lab mic, which actually, I don't know if you can see it, but you probably hear me pressing it. It's right there underneath my collar. It's clipped to the inside of my collar. And I have it clipped so that the microphone is kind of up and I can move around and you might get a little bit of feedback from the shirt. I don't know. Um, I haven't really tested it out yet and I will find out once I edit this video. But I didn't want to invest money in a lav mic because I don't know if it's gonna solve the echo issue here. And if you're watching this, then you can judge for yourself whether or not this little investment is worth it. And another reason why I kind of wanted to get a lav mic is because if I'm doing something on camera and I go way back here, you typically wouldn't be able to uh, hear me with the regular mic. But if, you know, if this is going, then you probably hear me just fine. And I go way back here, you typically wouldn't be able to uh, hear me with the regular mic, but if, you know, if this is going, then you probably hear me just fine. Um, like I said, I haven't looked at the, the footage yet or listened to the audio yet, so I don't know, and I will find out. But uh, I thought I would be bothered by this little wire in my shirt. That's another reason why I did not get it, uh, did not purchase a lav mic. Um, but messing around with this wasn't too bad, so... I, I don't see this being a big problem with what I'm doing and typically the way my videos are. Um, also, a lot of my videos are just me talking in three or four clips, so syncing that audio with a second device isn't that big of a concern for me. Um, a bigger concern would be if I had a lav mic always attached to the camera, uh, I want to get the ambient sounds of the shop. Uh, from the actual camera itself when I'm you know working on something with the saw or with something else uh, That way it kind of you know feels like a shop a little bit more but when I'm talking I want it to be a little bit clear So if I have a lav mic while I'm working uh, you really wouldn't pick up the actual sound of the shop the feel of the shop so That's where I want to keep the audio for the camera so with this setup I can just let the audio go normally and just sink in my three or four clips with the camera Hopefully it sounds good. I don't know. I'll find out uh, when I edit this video. So thanks for watching. We'll see.